Here it's been a, a bit of a strange year with the way the weather has been. Uh, we started very slowly with practices and getting horses fit and unfortunately we lost the first game of the season and uh, with a 2-1 two, two record we went to penalties and that left us out of the Joe Barry. So it was a bit, uh, a bit of bad luck, a little bit of we did it to ourselves but uh, I have to say I was disappointed because I thought we played well enough to continue on but penalties are penalties and you gotta yeah. make them. So. And then in the Ilva soccer, uh, the team exploded basically. We had a game against White Birch where we didn't play well and we let, got frustrated and that pretty much terminated our season. From there, it just all seemed to go downhill. I think uh, one thing to always remember is that we're playing sports here. It's not a book, it's not a movie, and you know anything can happen. So I think that's why people love the sport of polo, anything can happen, but when you're losing, uh, you have to remember that uh, you did everything that you can to be in top condition and you prepared the horses in the best way. Yeah, the truth is that the team is, is very good. I mean, we know the team is very good. We have uh, Gonzalito and 10 goals for a long time and uh, we know the team functioned very well last year. And I think this year brought all my best horses that I have. I saw Gonzo bring three more from Argentina and Mark is always investing and, and Ro is a beast. I mean, uh, oh, he was really well mounted last year. so. Once again, it's a sport, but I think we've done a lot of the right preparation and I've been preparing my mind and my body for these moments, so I'm feeling confident. After the Palm Beach season, I mean, it's a long season here, it's a good season. Uh, I very much look forward to going down to Argentina and I'm going to play the Breeders' Cup down there again as well, which uh, last year I had a lot of fun playing, it was my first year playing and uh, I'm looking forward to that because we have a new group of horses that I want to be able to see what type of qualities and condition they have to maybe play next year during the Triple Crown. It's always very exciting. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. And uh, after that, uh, I don't have much plans for the summer. Uh, I'm going to go home probably to Calgary and work in my dad's business. And uh, we'll see, probably do some trips over to England. Uh, just visit some friends. But as far as polo is concerned, it looks like mostly suit and tie for me during the summer. Well, I think, uh, I mean, it's a pleasure to play with my teammates. I mean, everyone can see that Lario has 10 goals. Sapo the same. I mean, both fantastic players. Different players that have reached 10 goals uh, with different paths, but very deserving. Um, you know, you have to <laughs> bow down and tell them, well done, because they really have earned it. I thought last year, Lario played fantastic, and Sapo showed true class. I mean, he has, he has everything to be a champion, and hopefully we can all do it this year and tie it together. I know we're not the favorites. Uh, we know who favorites are. I mean, they've been winning every game for the past three years, and I thought Oshina improved as the year went on. Um, I think my expectation is to play well. I, uh, if I said that, you know, we wanted to be in the final, of course we want to be in the final. Uh, my expectation is to play well, and I think if we play well, anything can happen. Still knowing that we're not the favorites. Is it possible? It's possible. We have a very good team, you know, and uh, I think right now I'm, I'm at my peak. Uh, I think I have, you know, you can always be better mounted, but I think this year I have a few extra horses coming in and I'm going to send all my good horses that I have here from America to Argentina. And we always know that this is the, the key. I mean, we always arrive to Palermo and if you can find one more horse that can make the difference, you might be standing on the podium at the end of the tournament. I mean, it's just, that's the truth of it. If you look last year, Look at uh, you know the horses that La Rofina had. They they played. I mean that Sugar Horse and Adolfo played amazing all season, and then Cortatera came out in the final. Boom, 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 and they lift the trophy. So I think that we have the team. I hope we have the horses, uh, and I'm expecting us to play well. It's true what you're saying. There are less patrons in polo today, and I think it's a combination of uh, many factors. You know, we might as well just come out and say that polo is a very expensive sport to play and at the highest level it requires professional players mounted on the top ponies and they're always in demand so the price for a top pony is a high price and you need 40 or 45 of them to play at this level so there's not that many people that can facilitate that type of uh, team that needs to be formed and I think also when you look at where you know the three associations, Hurlingham, the USPA, and the Argentine Polo Association, they all are, are fighting kind of maybe for different objectives. You know, I mean, obviously Argentina, they have the professional polo 
with the Argentine Open and the Triple Crown. Uh, they have the infrastructure of having the fields there at the association, um, but they don't have the funding like the USPA does. I mean, the USPA has $100 million in the bank, but they don't own any fields in America, and they don't care about professional polo. And then you have England, where they have the most wonderful club, Guards Polo Club, owned by the Queen, but they end up playing pro amateur polo. They don't, they don't have the resources like the USPA does with the clothing line. And so I think you know every association has some very good qualities, but none of them are going in the same direction. And so this is a it's a factor that you know if they all got together and we're able to say, listen, what's the main objective of polo? Uh, how can we grow the sport? How can we make it better? Yeah. You know, many many minds could make maybe light work. The truth is, FIP is. You know, I mean, it's for beginner, not beginners, but younger players to get on the world stage it's and travel and play. I mean, it's 14 goals. Uh, you know, the last time you probably, I mean, ask the top players, ask, you know, Juan Martin Nero or Gonzalito Pierce, the last time they saw a 14 goal game. They probably haven't seen one in a long time. And it's just, that level of polo is just not at the level that we can call it a World Cup. It's a World Cup for new players and younger players so this is in itself is one of the major problems of FIP if you said you know let's make a world cup and make it open okay now we're talking but how do you make that happen uh, you know how do you get the players to commit so that they can bring their horses and be in top condition and dedicate the time to really doing that I don't have the answer to that but uh, you know what I see in England is having all these uh, you know having the coronation cup that's a wonderful cup you know, having the Westchester Cup played, that's a wonderful cup. Yeah. But there's so few. There's two or three plays in the whole year. Why why can't we play more international games? Why can't you know we elevate the sport and the spectacle of mass mass media through these, you know, one off match games? I don't know how to do it, but I think uh, it's it's a way to, you know, get both sides England excited, have America excited, have Argentina excited, you know, do a tri nations and uh, make it a big deal. Yes, I've been lucky enough to represent Canada a, a couple Cup? times. I played the FIP World Cup uh, yeah. in Australia in 2001. Had a fantastic experience. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, we're talking about young new players getting the chance to play. I played against Juan Martin Nero yeah. when he was five goals in Australia. Yeah. And now we've played against many times here in America and Argentina. So, you know, I think it's great what's happening there at the FIP. But that can't be, you know, the crown of polo. I think we can do better yeah. and, I, and I want to see us do better.